Hi guys, today is a Dollar Tree DIY. I'm gonna call these like just an ombre wooden utensils for the kitchen with a farmhouse feel. I think these are gorgeous and I've actually seen these done in stores like Pier One. So I am super glad that I'm able to do this on a budget and share this with you guys. But this is basically all Dollar Tree with the exception of my white paint, which we're gonna get into. But here you're seeing clips of every um, material that you're gonna need to complete this look. And of course, you don't have to do an ombre effect. You can do any color that goes with whatever kitchen vibe that you have going on. If your kitchen is super colorful, then do the colors that make you the happiest and go with your decor. I wanted to focus on an ombre effect and so I'm showing you all the materials that I used to do that effect with. I will say though that the one thing I learned from this, because I've never done this DIY myself before, so this was my very first go around, is I used finger paints from the Dollar Tree. And as soon as I opened up those little canisters, the, the consistency of that paint was really different. And I'm sure it's probably because it's intended to be different for finger painting, but Dollar Tree does sell real kinds of paint and you could definitely utilize those, but I do think what made the consistency of the paint I used was my white Crayola paint that I mixed it in with that. So basically I'm lining up all my spoons and taking a look at them, I'm making sure that the bottoms of the spoons are all even because I do want the line of where the paint starts and stops all to be even across every wooden utensil. And so I'm gonna take painter's tape and that's when I'm gonna begin to mark it. I want to make sure that I am getting the most um, paint on the wooden spoon as much as possible, but I also want um, there to be still like some wooden effect to it, if you know what I mean. Like I could essentially paint all the way to the top, um, but I didn't want to do that. Also you, you really don't want to paint the portion that you would use to scoop food up with, if, especially if you are using these utensils to eat and serve with, or like stir a pot or whatnot. And the best way to clean this also is going to be to just hand wash them. Wooden utensils should actually be hand washed to begin with. I'm kind of lazy about that and I throw them in the dishwasher, but because I've painted these, I'm gonna have to make sure that I just hand wash them from now on with some warm water and soap. So my kitchen colors are green and yellow from apples and lemons, and so that is why I chose to do a green ombre and a yellow ombre. Now it did take about four coats for each color. The wood does absorb the paint really well, so it dried super quick. Um, it took me about 30 minutes to get all four coats on. The lighter yellow wasn't actually as hard. The darker yellow, I actually needed to do a fifth coat. But other than that, it is as simple as that, you guys, just marking your spoons off and then taking a sponge brush and brushing them with your paint colors. As you see here, I separated all my paint colors into separate plates just so that I could visually see the darkest to the lightest. And that is how I completed this ombre effect on these wooden utensils from the Dollar Tree and I will list all the materials down below for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, and I'm gonna see you guys again on Wednesday for another video, so stay tuned, and more DIYs coming as well. I hope that you guys love this video. I know I just said that, but I do, and I'll see you soon. Bye.